one. Yeah, you don't get your virginity back, but you do get your purity back. So I like to say that what God's restoration looks like is he'll take you back to the place before you ever knew what pain was when you were like a two-year-old child, full of love, full of joy, full of faith, believing that you can have whatever and do whatever. God takes you back to that place before you knew what it was like to be rejected, before you knew what it was like to be stepped on, um, walked out on. God renews your purity. Purity is a heart thing. It's not actually a physical thing. And that's exactly why Jesus would, would talk to the Pharisees. And he told them, you guys are so focused on cleaning the outside of the cup. You should clean the inside of the cup, right? So it's like purity is something that God can give you back. Virginity is not. Yeah. Well, when you say purity, though, do you think that just getting baptized means that you have your purity back, whatever whatever that means? It's exactly. a process of sanctification. So, like, when I first became a Christian, you know, I showed up to church, you know, wearing raunchy clothing, taking drugs, all the things. You know, God started little by little to peel back layers, right? And he restored. Were you baptized at that time? Uh, I had gotten baptized, actually, when I was in the industry, not understanding the fullness of what I was doing. I When I left... So, baptized when you were in the I know. I had a, so I had a pimp who was like, you, you know, claiming, yeah, <laughs> claiming to be a Christian. And I okay. told him one day that I thought that I was possessed by the devil. And so he took me to a church and I ended up getting baptized. Uh, but I was so still your in. Pimp, yeah, wait, hang on. Let me yeah. hang on. Your pimp took you to church to baptize out the demons. Is that, is that right? I know, right? Crazy. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. But I did feel like refreshed and renewed and I started actually hearing the voice of God little by little, right? It was the voice of God that led me away from the pimp and so forth. So um, yeah, but like I said, it's the word purity in itself means to be uncontaminated. So when I say you don't get your virginity back, you can get your purity back because God will take your heart back to a place where it is uncontaminated. Mm -hmm. It is pure. You're free from, you know, the- well, when you, So when your pimp it took you down and you got baptized and he takes you out um and then you go and you have sex again with a guy for money yeah right I assume that you must have done that because you had a pimp uh what happened to your purity was your was it negated out no i mean honestly back then i didn't even know the term purity and i wouldn't have considered myself pure i feel like i was very contaminated um i was you know riddled with depressions uh intrusive thoughts and so forth and so um i was very envious i was a very mean girl like i was definitely not uncontaminated so i was i wouldn't have considered myself pure to be very honest okay did you get baptized a second time i did yeah so i started going uh to church uh what was this december of 2012 i surrendered my life to the lord in february what that means was by December to February, God had told me to flush my drugs down the toilet. I did it. Um, he miraculously healed me of drug addiction. Um, and then he really started working on my heart. I decided to take an entire year off of dating because men were my weakness. Um, and I just started seeking God every day through prayer, worship, reading the Bible, and he really transformed my life. Um, and I, I, like I said, I took that year off dating and that was a really monumental, like a healing, a very healing year for me. Would you have quit your uh, porn career even if you had not gotten baptized by your pimp? So, I, I mean, I don't know. I did for about three years after that, but I had been given a Bible at church. And so how this happened was I felt the Holy Spirit one day tell me to leave my pimp. Um, he guided me to call my mom. She came, rescued me. The Holy me. Spirit told you to leave your pimp? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. How'd that sound? What, what's that? How did that sound? Okay, Spirit so I had this impression in my heart where, you know, we, we were in a fight and I felt God say, Brittany, you need to leave him. And I'm like, what am I going to do? I don't have anyone to call. And he said, call your mom. At that time in my life, uh, we had a very, like, estranged relationship. Now she's one of my closest friends. But at that time, like, we didn't get along. I'm like, I can't call her. And the Holy Spirit just said, Brittany, humble yourself and call your mom. And so I did just that. I called her and she came, picked me up, helped me to get away from him. Uh, then I had to go film... Am I allowed to say right? Because uh, that's the only thing I knew how to do. So before I leave for the for the airport, I felt again the Holy Spirit say, "Bring your Bible." So I'm on the airplane. I'm reading my Bible, Revelation chapter two, verse twenty through twenty-three, and this particular verse really stood out to me. It says. 
Uh, I have this thing against you. You tolerate that woman named Jezebel. I have given her time to repent. If she doesn't repent, I will cast her and her children into a sick bed along with. Well, let me um, let me ask you this too, right? Uh, I didn't I didn't mean to cut you off, but there's there's like like only so much we can go before we can have a a good back and forth exchange. Um, let's assume for a second that somebody came to you tomorrow and they were like, the Holy Spirit told me that you're not redeemed and that uh, your prostitution bars you from, I don't, I don't know, what, whatever it is. How would you make the determination that they're wrong if they think the Holy Spirit's talking to them and you think the Holy Spirit's talking to you? Yeah, because the Bible says that I am redeemed because I've been bought with the blood of Jesus, right? His yeah, sacrifice. but how, how you interpret, you can only exegete the Bible if you have the Holy Spirit, right? Right, well, some people okay, may say... Okay, so if say, somebody can exegetes the Bible and claims that they have the Holy Spirit inside of them and so do you, how do you make the determination as to who is right? Honestly, some people are demonized and if it's not aligned with the Word of God, then I would just clearly tell them, I'm sorry, you're not hearing from God. I've had yeah, somebody come up to me... how do you know what me. the Word of God is? If you're both exegeting and you both claim that you have the Holy Spirit... You read you the Bible. I read the Bible every single day. Every single day before I go to bed, I read it in the morning. I read the Bible daily. I love the Word of God. It has transformed my life. It's renewed my mind. It's made me a whole new creation. Like I'm yeah, in I, love I, I with get, God's I get word. it. But listen, listen to what I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. Right? Super important. When you read the Bible, you're exegeting the text, right? Right. Okay. In order to exegete the text, you have to have be filled with the Holy Spirit. Correct. Sure. Is that right? I mean... Yeah, sure. Okay. So what if you have two of you Protestant Christians who are both exegeting the text mm -hmm. and you both come to different conclusions? Mm -hmm. How do you know which one of you is right? The Final Bible's thought from clear. both of you on this. Go ahead. Honest, it, the Bible just, is very clear. Um, you're kind of making... Your question isn't really... If it's not aligned with the Bible, it doesn't matter what man says. Man will always talk. But you know personally with the Holy Spirit like she said it personally was to her um, and if it doesn't align with the Bible simple enough it's not from God it's not that complicated yeah okay well I'll let it, I'll let it go because we have to move on but I just want to let you both know that you didn't answer the question at all but anyway I, I do appreciate the engagement